What's up with everybody? It's your man Boya B. And Nicole. We're back here with some more reaction videos. So yeah, we're checking out some more geography now. Croatia. Uh, you ever been to Croatia? No. Uh, I never I've been. I've really been anywhere. Where's located it? It's in Europe. I think okay. Eastern Europe, technically. It is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. We're gonna find out. Let's dive right to it. Yes, Game of Thrones was filmed here. Oh, uh, okay. Hey everyone, I'm your host Barbie. We are back in Europe and today we are going to discuss 101 Dalmatian Islands. Ha! Actually, it's more like 580. But first. <laughs> the flag of Croatia is a little bit more fun and jubilant than most flags because it has the iconic checker pattern in the center. First of all, the flag is a horizontal tricolor that utilizes the pan Slavic colors of red, white, and blue in yeah, equally okay. sized stripes. The blue stands for freedom and hope, the white stands for peace, peace and, and unity. unity, and the red stands for et, the revolution and sacrifices. In the middle ah, is the coat of food. arms with the iconic Shahovnica or the checkerboard shield pattern with red and white squares, sometimes referred to as the Czechi. Some will say that this is because long ago there were like two Croatias, one was called Red Croatia, one was called White Croatia, with little evidence supporting that theory. There are five shields on top of the Czechi that form a crown above the Shahovnica, each one representing the historical regions of Croatia. The first one is for Croatia proper with a crescent and a six pointed star, Dubrovnik with two red stripes on a dark blue shield, Dalmatia with three crown leopard heads, Illustria with a golden goat with red hooves because hey, why not? And finally, <laughs> Slavonia with a six pointed star, two silver stripes, and a pine martin running on a red field between the silver stripes. Yeah, for such a small country, those five regions have had an impactful historical upbringing. Let's discuss more about that in. First off, before we jump in, you might hear a lot of other countries, specifically in the Slavic world, using the word Hrvatska referring to this country instead of Croatia to a lesser extent. It's kind of like that whole thing with Germany. Visa in Deutschland. Oh, you mean Germany? Yeah. Nein! Hmm. First off, Croatia is located hmm. on the western part of the Balkan Peninsula in southern Europe, bordered by Slovenia, Hungary, Serbia, hugging Bosnia and Herzegovina, giving them a small coast on the town of Neum, and just barely have a 10 mile or 16 kilometer wide border with Montenegro at the southernmost tip of the country on the Adriatic Sea. The country is divided into 20 counties and the country's capital is Zagreb. Fun side note, the small Bosnian Herzegovinian port of Neum splits the country's Dalmatian coast, technically creating an exclave for the Dubrovnik Neretva mm -hmm. area. They were thinking of building a bridge on the Pelishac Peninsula so the entire country would be navigable by road, but plans were canceled in 2012. Speaking uh... of which, historically Croatia was divided into four general regions. You'll no, probably hear four. a lot about these if you go to Croatia. They are Croatia proper, Istria, Slavonia, and Dalmatia. Speaking of which, Dalmatia dogs Dalmatians. are said to have origins in Dalmatia, hence Dalmatian. Okay, oh, no more rabbit trails, we really need to get back on top. Now, of course, because of its complicated <laughs> past that we really don't have a lot of time to discuss, Croatia has quite a few land and sea disputes, as well as enclaves and exclaves, but I'm just going to list some of the most notable ones. The <laughs> Bay of Piran, the Dragona River, the Sveta Gera, all that mess on the Mura and Drava rivers. Then we get to Serbia, and it looks like earphones that were just pulled out of your pocket. The funny thing is, nobody really pays much attention to these places, which is why when outsiders do, funny things happen. Back in 2015, a Czech guy came in, and self-proclaimed his own micronation called Lieberland on the supposedly unclaimed island in the Danube. He was totally arrested. But he wasn't ah, the only shit. one. Two other guys tried unsuccessfully to attempt the same thing on separate islands and failed. The country has over a thousand islands on the Adriatic coast, even though only about 50 of them are inhabited, the largest ah. ones being Kres and Kirk, which even though Croatia ranks around 125 in country landmass, it's all the way up to spot 20 in coastline length. That's more than Sweden and South Africa combined. Wow. In your mm. face, Mongolia. By the way, homework assignment, see if you can find this heart-shaped heart island off of Croatia's coast. Zagreb may be the capital, but people come here to see Pula, Zadar, Split, and Dubrovnik. The Croatian coast is acclaimed by many to be by far one of the most captivating places in the entire world to visit, especially to witness a sunset. Oh yeah, and Zadar has a strange thing called a sea organ that looks and sounds like this. <laughs> huh. Okay, let's talk about plants and animals and stuff now, shall we? Okay, so Croatia may be primarily known for its coast, however, that doesn't mean that there aren't any notable features inland. Although a lot of the land outside of urban centers is used for farming, Croatia still retains some world-renowned nature zones and national parks. First of all, the country is kind of split along the Dinaric Alps that meander diagonally across the northwest regions, all the way to the south along the border of Bosnia and Herzegovina. The division kind of encapsulates the inner flatter areas that slope down into the Pannonian Basin where all the rivers like the mighty Danube flow. Because of this division, Croatia experiences quite a contrasting climate even though the 
country takes up a small area. Zagreb can be completely different from Dubrovnik at any given time. About half of the entire country is made up of karst topography, which is basically another word for dissolved, cavey, limestoney ground that erodes into fascinating shapes and providing a network of sub- Basically, cavey area. Just like yeah. we studied in Bulgaria, Croatia is loaded with caves. It's not that hard to find them, and many of them are absolutely breathtaking. Caves like the Blue Grotto on Bishevo Island wow. and the incredibly deep Velebit Caves that go down nearly 1,400 meters. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's cute. The one place that everyone in Croatia will mm. proudly boast over will be the famous Plitvici National Park, which contains the Plitvici waterfalls and lakes, Gorgeous. which is where the coolest music duo on the planet, Stephen Hauser and Luka Šulić, filmed their Mumford & Sons cover video. I can't believe I missed you guys like a month ago when you came into my town and did a concert. Ugh! I Sorry, Mumford I love two cellos. They're a great band. What? I can like music. Croatia also <laughs> has that small Georgievetsky desert and a wide range of wildlife such as bats, otters, elk, boar, martens, wolves, and that incredibly rare Eurasian Thanks. lynx, the largest land cat in Europe that can be found mm -hmm. here as well. The coast, though, once again, takes the center stage when it comes to Croatia's spotlight moment. Because of its islands and coast, Croatia has had a huge boost in tourism in the past two decades, an industry that outsiders didn't exactly have access to prior for the longest time, and the reason why will be discussed in... Croatia has a really, really long history on who it is and how it got to where it is now, and I'm just going to summarize it in like eight seconds. Roman Empire, Kingdom, Subordinate, Empire State, Wars with Turkey, Yugoslavia 1, Nazi Puppet, Yugoslavia 2, Civil War, and finally, European Union member. See, that wasn't so hard. <laughs> You forgot the Illyrians! First of all, the country has huh. about 4.5 million people and is actually one of the 30 or so countries experiencing a population huh. decline. The country is made up almost entirely of ethnic Croats, around 91%. Serbs make up about 5% and the rest is a slew of other people groups, mostly Slavic, but toss in a few That's Italians, that. Jews, and why not some Chinese, and hey, you got Croatia. Now, like mentioned in the Bosnia and Herzegovina episode, pretty much everybody in the Slavic Balkan nations can understand each other, especially these four countries. The only difference is that these two write in the Cyrillic alphabet and these to write in the Latin alphabet. It's a little more difficult for these four countries to understand the remaining Baltic states, like Slovenes and Bulgarians and Macedonians. <gasps> I mean, the former Yugoslav Republic. Hey. Just call them Macedonians. I don't care why you are. Why are you just I'm not even part of you. Part of you. I have not part of you. You always think I am. Guys, can we get back to my episode? Shut, Shut up, Croatia! Croatia. Nonetheless, the funny thing is, pretty much all Slavs, whether they're from Russia, Poland, or the Czech Republic, which, by the way, just changed its English name to Czechia, or the Balkan Slavs, huh. can all pretty much hold a basic, simple conversation with each other and get by if they speak really slow and articulate well. It would be like if a Jamaican guy tried to speak to a Singlish-speaking guy. Behind the statue of the coffee shop with the boom boom? No, I say it's on the right side oh, of the statue. Dude, the statue, I'm gonna look behind. I'm gonna look the right, man. I'm gonna look the right. How am I gonna know what you said? Boy, you said behind. Alama, no la. You know this is right, this is left. You very simple one. They're right. I... <laughs> okay, they're right. Okay. All you had to say is they're right, not behind. Clear now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> clear already now. Clear now. Alama, give the you right. simple instruction. Also, don't know. You are clear now. Okay la, win already la. Guys, that was Kevin and Layton. Give him a round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> Another quick way you can tell the Slavic Balkan states apart is the denomination. Croats and Slovenes are predominantly Catholic, while Serbs and Montenegrins are typically Orthodox. Croatians love water polo and don't even get started on the whole Nikola Tesla thing. He was a Serb. But he was born here. But he was a Serb. But he was born here. <laughs> <laughs> Essentially, Croatia went from the fall of Yugoslavia and socialism in the 90s and the civil war in the mid-90s to being labeled as the top travel destination by Lonely Planet in 2000-something. I think it was like 2005. Dude, Paul, seriously, we gotta check our sources. You're making us look bad. Shut <laughs> up, Brandon! I'm doing my best! Let's talk about Croatia's friends. <laughs> In order to understand Croatia's friends, you kind of have to look at two things, business and religion. First of all, they're neighbors. When it comes to Serbia and Croatia, it's kind of like... Why Serbia, why Croatia? Why I don't why get why it. Why it. Why ah. <laughs> no, no, you just don't make any sense. Don't 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 Croatia and Serbia have a lot of <laughs> historical beef, but they hate to kind of admit that they secretly are kind of a little bit totally attracted and hot for each other. Mm. Business and diplomacy is still very big between these two, and ultimately they still cooperate pretty well. I was told that typically they even give each other a lot of points in Eurovision or something like that, and that just proves it. Eurovision proves everything. Slovenia was like a good friend that still held a few grudges since Slovenia was the first to join the EU, and they originally vouched for Croatia, but then they were like, wait, before you get in, we gotta settle some disputes otherwise. 
realize I'm blocking you. And then it did. You. And then it got messy. And then it got fixed. The end. By See. default, Croatia has an affinity for Catholic dominated countries like Italy, Spain, and Ireland, especially the Irish, since they kind of empathize with the whole struggle with the UK. And they are totally fangirls of the Vatican. When it comes to their best friends, however, they would probably say Germany and Poland. Germany is a really close friend since they are kind of seen as like the promised land after so many Croatians moved in and made fortunes there. Germans huh. also love visiting and doing business. Without a doubt though, Croatians love it when the Polish stop by. They're like the best friend who lives far away but Skypes every week and sees them twice a year. On top yeah. of that, Pope John Paul II was from Poland who liked Croatia so much that he visited three times. In conclusion, Croatia is kind of like the surfer cousin of the Slavic countries. After all the drama subsided, he opened up a hotel and a tiki bar on the beach, got a tan and was all like, what's up world? Come take a vacation in mm. Croatia. Stay tuned. Croatia. Cuba is coming up next. Oh, you have another good episode, man. Yeah, another super interesting and informative one. Yeah, like man. Like he always is. Croatia. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't think he never really said how many like people live there. I think he said four and a half million or four something like million. that. Yeah. These these places be like small countries, though. Mm -hmm. They really, really I mean, small. a lot of these are like the size of our states in the United States. Yeah, it is. Our state in the United States. Yeah, it's kind of like crazy. Mm -hmm. You know, um, um, man, it is. Just, just the different. way it is. I mean, there, Europe itself is not as big, and then there's just been all this, you know, countries that have been formed. But yeah. then you look at like Russia and China, and they're huge. Yeah, so. super huge. It India, just, huge. It's yeah. just weird. Just never know. Yeah. We definitely enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. uh, for not makes some amazing videos. Make sure to subscribe to their channel, his channel. If you want to support our channel, don't forget to check out our pinned comment mm -hmm. in the description. Leave your video request at our stream lab. Check it out before you leave. Check it out. Don't forget to subscribe. Thumbs it up. Turn on notifications. It should be where it be. And Nicole. We're going to catch you on the next video. Awesome. Peace and love.